Okay guys, Angram here and welcome to Mass Effect. Okay, we're going to start a new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Thanks. Classified information requested. Okay, let's connect to the database. Establishing secure connection. Awesome. Secure connection confirmed. Fabulous. Uh, no, I think we're not going to go with the default John Shepard. Enter new ID, custom Please female. To access your profile. Okay, this is going to be Catherine. And accept. I'll try and make her fairly quickly. I love how this fails. So good. <laughs> Please reconstruct profile. Okay, we'll do. Confirm pre-service history. Both your parents, space sir. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Confirm Colonist. Profile. Oh, hang on. Confirm pre-service history. Okay, colonist. You were born and raised on Mindwa. Mindoya? I don't know. <laughs> Mindwa. I don't know. A small border colony in the Attican Traverse. Uh, when you were 16, slavers raided Mindwa. Mindoya? I don't know. You're home planet sloshing your family and friends uh, you were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later or earthborn you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great metropolises covering earth you escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military when you turned 18 okay um i generally play earthborn um We'll go spacer. Okay, psychological profile. Soul survivor. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. War hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your life to save your fellow soldiers and defeated the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Or ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule, get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Yeah, I've never really prayed that uh, prayed played ruthless. Um, I generally go war hero or soul survivor. Usually, let's go soul survivor. I think Confirm I normally go war hero. Specialization. Hmm. All right, I, I'm just gonna go with adept. Okay, it's blowing things shit up and throwing it around Confirm all the way. Facial identification. Okay, let's change appearance. I'll do this as quickly as possible. Cycle presets. Um, no. Maybe you've got potential facial structure. Ugh. Yeah. That one. Skin tone. Pale as. This is going to be goth shape. Uh, complexion, yeah. Um, oh, that's right. Because I do have, as you have noticed probably by her uniform, I do have the Mass Effect. Um, Ultimate, uh, M E U I T M, <laughs> Ultimate something texture mod, um, improved, Ultimate improved or something like that, texture mod, uh, Scar, um, 
Oh, I always have trouble getting her to face the front. Front! Front! There we go. Thank you. Come again. Um, okay. Um, oh, we'll just go with no scars. Um, trying to do this as quickly as possible. Neck thickness. Yeah, thin neck. Cheeks, yeah, give her a bit of cheeks, cheek, bone, not move. Okay, not entirely sunken. Cheeks gaunt. Uh, where is that? Um, about there. Ears. Moderate orientation. Yeah, slightly sticky out. All right, let's do this as quickly as possible. Thigh shape's good. Eye height, slightly down. Eye width, uh, no, not too close together. Um, eye depth, side. Yeah, slightly more sunken. Brows out. Eyebrow height, no, no. Iris color, oh. Um, Green, always go green. Um, jaw, chin height, about there. Chin depth. Is this do? Oh no. Chin width. Oh. See, it's slightly narrower. Jaw width, slightly wider. That's it. Do this as fast as possible. Mouth shape. Yeah. Oh, come on, center. I generally don't use this one, so I might go with it. Um, mouth depth. They always end up looking like they're doing duck face, so tend to mouth with no narrow lip size. Let's not blow them up too much. Mouth height. Yeah. Okay. Nose. Go, go, go. I actually like her nose. So just elongate her nose. Nose depth. Yeah. Alright. Um, hair. Hair colour. Mm. Let's give her any so I can see the colours. Black haired Shep. Okay, hair. No, 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 no. Bun, no. Alright, um. I guess we'll just go with this. Brow. Okay. Alright, um, these presets just give uneven brows a whole new meaning. Okay, I think we can live with this Shep. Get used to her. Um, <laughs> hang on, um, makeup. Alright, um, anyway, so, um, just going with this, um, my shadow colour. They're a black of some sort. Ooh. Okay, uh, that'll have to do. Um, lip colour. I think that was as dark as it gets, so. Alrighty, Goth Shep is on the case. Right, so, okay, um, just so you guys know, those of you who know me know that I have basically started this game a bajillion times and I have never ever finished it so I'm quite familiar with the beginning of the game and then as it goes on I get more and more lost and any reactions you're hearing will basically be me genuinely going what the hell am I doing here and why um, 
It's, I think, okay, final construction complete. So, that's basically it. It's, I've just installed this mod to have slightly better graphics. The female faces seem to be improved. The male faces, I have no idea what's going on with those. I'm not going to be installing any more. Um, that's basically it. MUITM is going to be the extent of the modding. No hacking, no cheating, no nothing. Um, I've got it set, I think, to normal difficulty. So, yeah, I'm not going to go with insanity or anything like that. I don't think I could survive. Um, she's just going to go from level 1 onwards. I'm not going to cheat any skills, any achievements or anything like that. Um, so, yeah. Here's to me, hopefully, finally, for the first time ever, finishing this game. Um, hopefully you've stuck with me this far. Um, yeah, uh, just trying to decide actually whether I should um, stop here after the first 10 minutes after the making of, um, of lovely Catherine, or whether I should keep going, give people who actually don't want to watch this part the chance to skip it. Um, let's just um you know what let's just fire it up and start it watch the first opening intro scene and i'll stop there and then almost immediately i'll start playing but that'll be in a second video Alrighty, let's accept once you confirm your character is complete you will be unable to change any settings that's fine confirmed. okay combat normal auto level up off target is normal Squat pros, S, no subtitles. I don't know, do people want subtitles? Maybe I'll put subtitles on. Sometimes people actually do want them. And auto save, yes. I'll accept. Oh my god! Here we go, here we go. Okay, I'm not going to be shooting anything, so don't get too excited yet. Um, but yeah, this is going to be so cool. Um, I'm just really excited. Okay. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. She could. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Yes. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. Yes. I'll make the call. All right. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it something mess <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay not fast enough not fast enough here we go characters prime relays in range initiating transmission sequence we are connected. Alrighty. calculating transit mass and destination Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. Caden. 1500 is good. What are you doing in there? Nihilus! What is he doing in there? He's never back in there. Nihilus gave you a compliment. 
So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. Yeah, you're right. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. Oh, she's so looking good. I'm quite run. actually happy with the way she worked out. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Oops. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay. Uh, whoops. No, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to see your face. Put that away. <gasps> Did I just... Whoops. Okay. Blowing shit up without meaning to. Um, I just wanted to take a picture of her for the preview. I think I give up. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's... <laughs> before I blow up anything else. Um, yep. Yeah. So, here we go. We're getting started. I'm just excited. I don't know. I'm just super excited to actually be recording this. I've always been playing this in private. Never really got past the first storyline mission. I've done a few of the small planets and that sort of thing but it's you know I've only ever done Therum, got Liara and that's about as far as I ever got um, you know did a few of the side missions some of the side, side planets but never really finished this game so I'm just really excited to be recording this to be sharing this with you guys it's it's just, yeah, a really nice place to, you know, it feels like a really nice place to be in. So, hopefully you'll stick with me. If you're liking what you're seeing, then by all means, please um, subscribe, hit like, give me a comment. Um, and I hope to talk to you again soon.